So today I got quite a cool collectible in the mail. Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars Episode 3 on VHS. Yes, this only came out in the UK, Australia and in a dubbed version in France and Germany. So yeah, um, 2005, most countries, if not all, had adopted DVD. Um, so yeah, there wasn't really much incentive to release Revenge of the Sith on VHS, except for completionists, and that's why I think it's quite odd that they didn't release it in more markets, because of course there were quite a few Star Wars fans who had episodes 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 on VHS, and now had a gap or a lull in their collection, but yeah, well... UK, Australia. This one is a UK copy, includes even some bonus features, um, Star Wars Connections featurette uh, in, and, some exclusive and some exclusive deleted scenes. Um, this, one <laughs> this one cost me a pretty penny, um, 50 pounds on eBay, including customs and Brexit uh, shenanigans. We're looking at, well, I don't know, 60, 75 pounds. Uh-huh. Um, I have the rental version on DVD. Um, this one is a one-disc copy, a red disc, uh, which just includes the audio commentary. Paid 50 cents. I have a sealed two-disc DVD retail copy. Um, I think this was one this was one pound on a London Comic Con. Um, and then I bought the Blu-ray box set when it came out in 2011 and <laughs> you never guess it um, in 2014 my laptop was stolen from my folks home uh, and the disc that was included in my Blu-ray drive was Revenge of the Sith so now I had a incomplete box set um, eight out of nine discs were still there I emailed Fox at the time and I asked him, um, yeah, can I just get a replacement copy, a replacement disc for Revenge of the Sith? Uh, here's my proof of purchase. I paid $100 for this box set and they just said no. <laughs> so, well, thanks for nothing, Fox. Uh, luckily, uh, I think one or two years later, they um, released a separate, uh, well, they, they re-released all Star Wars movies in Steelbooks which allowed me to finally uh, pick up Revenge of the Sith once more. Now, of course, the funny story is that I don't really like Revenge of the Sith. It's uh, uh, yeah, not my favorite Star Wars movie. Uh, I think that Phantom Menace is still the best prequel. And of course, Star Wars 1977 is the best Star Wars movie overall. But for the purpose of this video, let's compare Revenge of the Sith on VHS, DVD and Blu-ray. Get help, you know, Matt, for him. He's a Sith Lord. Chancellor Palpatine, Sith Lords are our speciality. Get help, you know, Matt, for him. He's a Sith Lord. Chancellor Palpatine, Sith Lords are our speciality. Get help, you know, Matt, for him. He's a Sith Lord. Chancellor Palpatine, Sith Lords are our speciality. Get help, you know, Matt, for him. He's a Sith Lord. Chancellor Palpatine, Sith Lords are our speciality. So, yeah, mm, VHS is sadly full screen, so you're not getting the full experience. Um, it's adequate. The DVD is quite good. Blu-ray is good. Uh, don't have the 4K yet, uh, but I've heard, um, I've heard excellent stories or I've read excellent reviews uh, regarding its PQ and AQ. So um, that's one to watch and or buy. But for now, I'd say the DVD will suffice. But for the purpose of this video, let's compare Revenge of the Sith. But for the purpose of this video, let's compare Revenge of the Sith. Well, latest.